into this matchup, going with the Sheriff. He wanted to get the first blood, but he already got uh, smashed in the face already at low HP. Yeah, things are getting tagged up. Asuna trying to pepper into the site. Sean goes down with a uh, classic shot as Asuna answers with the Ghost. They're making their way in in this 5v3 now. The rest of Gen G is now scattered the middle of the map as they just try to keep one more back alive in the site. No, that is going to be Kusta going down, and it's going to be tough now for Temperature. And there it is, Nature going down to take this one back. Definitely. You're just trying to do some damage if you can. Oh, but the save up and yeah. bonus that to I'll being an up, maybe. Right? little 101 damage to the body of GMD as they start this off. Another hit towards A site. And one of the things telling, but we've seen straight aggression towards the site without hesitation so super far. Super simple, super simple. Yep, I mean, exactly. like I said, when it's a plug and play, when boys playing a Viper, you put the wall up, you let your initiators get the information, you see that the site's clear. The stack didn't really work out right now for uh, the defenders of Genji on the A site right. once again, and that's it. You know, Nitro's just warm. And, and what does that mean? Closer to Cloud or uh, Bladestorm as well. Moving forward, looking to get one more all point on that. <laughs> It's like we're watching the Looney Tunes. He's going from tree to tree. You just can't see him. Goose rounds already on the A side. Now you're going for the standard. Flash into the corner. I like this one way, though. This could be Nature. stronger defense. Great start by Nature on to Ethan. They get that flash to be just nullified. Asuna with a trade back in as they start to get the chaos going. Nitro on Acousta as he lays him out with a Sheriff. Okay. Uh, Asuna does have alt here for the end if they require. He actually has fired it off already. This is so impressive. You saw the execution right there. The wall to come out, the recon art in the back, the flashes. If you're playing close there, with a, where I like to call ladder, you're in a tough spot. They need to add more bodies or play the retake from the way left. 100 Thieves is currently playing. Just till about 15 seconds, they have this gas wall up. They hold it the whole time. And that's going to be the time Gen.G tries to get back in. They drop the wall for a little surprise play. And Nitro tries to come up with one. Traded back by Temperature as Hiko finds that frag to help his teammate out in the last two. They actually have four players going up mid. Oh, my word. Right off that gas wall, too. Guiding light goes through. That's the Sky Flash. Look oh, my the tag. God. What a hit coming through as well from the Sonar Bolt. They're going to be able to trade back and forth now as Asuna comes up with the last one of that battle on B-Site. Towards spawn. How did he even see the arm of temperature right there? Boy, now on Deshaun. And that was just a smattering of kills coming in. Nature now trying to hunker down on the A site as his team was wiped off the map in seconds. That was so quick at the scene. I, I did say, you want to rely on Nature to try to find information? Holy he had no information. Holy. Where they come from was a surprise. This is going to be very difficult for him to try to save. At Blood least he still has water. A, Yeah, but he still has enough of his kit. He could dash away. He try to get some kills. Here he goes, but they're still flanking from behind. All right, one down. Almost a second when Ethan finds that he has procured many of these final kills on the run. When you've noticed from Berlin, oh my god, okay, sure. let's talk about that a little bit later. We needed something to come up. <laughs> Pulse plant. All right. And they Nitro for one. Oh, the triple peak family wow. photo from Gen G back in spawn. Yeah, and they yeah, get yeah. two off of that Nitro and Ethan fall fast. Now it's just Hiko. And boy, what can they do with a Clutch Master and the new member? That's Hiko going down. It's up to Boy now. Just the Sheriff in hand here for him. It looks like it's going to be real tough as they get taken down. Sean okay. able to bring that one into their favor. And very small bit of ground has been gained. Early sneakers. I love it. Interesting. Gumand uh, able to use the uh, overall strike there. Take that frag for himself. But also just the wherewithal to know you'll have 100 Thieves on the run to use the orbital strikes to pinch and them out. The last Seeker just went towards that door, so they know now for Genji there's presence towards his door side. They have a trap wire in the back. They can pre pretty much hold this so far. Asuna slowly okay. pushing through, working the cages, working around him. Asuna, boy, coming up big. Come on, on the flank, doing so well as the rat. He can always find a few for himself, and he brings the numbers down to 2v2 Vans. Again, that slower retake, Positioned, methodical, and we'll see how Gen.G wants to retake this one. Now you play the clock. This is super smart. Right now, Nitro is fall, falling all the way back. You're probably set up for a Hunter's Fury at the same time. This gives a chance for Nitro to even lurk out of halls and do a backstab once he hears a tap. They're in a they're in a great spot to win this for 100 Thieves. And Nitro gets this audio now, right? Yep. So he's even grabbing information even sooner. Almost with a missed shot there. He's going to play his life, play the pressure. And they know they have a right side plant that they can get back to with the Hunter's Fury. As you said, one... Quick second one, he miss it. This could actually be oh, no. it. This could be it. He's gonna be able to get the defuse. Hiko doesn't have enough time to get there. Oh yes, my! Be clutch round for Genji. You're guessing, right? You run the clock down. Now you're gambling towards the A side. Now the B side's weaker. 
So this looks like a modified strat by 100 Thieves. They didn't exactly go all the way up mid. This was an elbow to yeah. mid, and now they will hit the archway by wall. Nature with the first Ooh. shot. Oh, he is cooking in that Viper's Bite right now, but he's going to be able to get the safety. Another Ooh. shot, quick! Remaining. Be able to find it. Boy takes down Nature as Kusta trades back onto Nitro in this 4v1. Boy's there. He gets taken down by temperature. A very, very... Going to be GMD and Sean. Oh, no. I wonder if GMD pops off first without the help of Sean. He is going to start taking some oh, shots I and have him pinched in, Vans. That's it. And then Hiko and Austin are going to try to battle back. That was a perfect actually flank to start things off, but we were a little bit too quick on the trigger discipline there from yeah. GMD. Waiting for Sean, they could have come back and done the full bamboozle, but not this time. Temperature now holding the cam position on a back pyramid. A great first Five shot, a second one. Nitro is going to be able to trade that one back as Nature does find the operator kill. Now they're pushing back two members. We've seen this before, and Gen G has been able to come out on top. Can they keep that dice roll in their favor here on the A take once again? Kiko says no. They are going to know that Nature's backside now with yep. that flash. The recommendation from the Guiding Light. Up close and personal. The shotgun up. <laughs> He's ready for it. Oh, making a bit of noise there as he hopped out of the water pit. And it's going to be Hiko on the rotation. Should uh, blindside here onto Nature. Set up and defense system on it. And this will allow for fast rotates Ooh. too. So your anchors on both sides, they can get information, then you can get these fast first bloods, these fast rotates. I like this strategy. Quick little angle peeks, why not? If 100 Thieves is gonna try to come in dry, take them down. These rounds. Yeah. I feel like this is the uh, the way that it plays. It, it's a nice little wall bang there. Okay. I, I feel that even though like right now that's a 4v1 formation for 100 Thieves, they're actually not going for those sex executes that actually suppress left. the beast like yeah. defense so much. Like I didn't see the Trailblazer, the Recon Dart, the Flashes, and you're because you want to allow Nitro to like maybe peek out and try to get these kills with the Operator instead. Great hunt. That is actually... But you're actually rotating GMD towards the B side to support yep. the Viper at the same time with Kusta. So if the Execute comes in, he could actually throw exactly that. The Orbital Strike just to slow Ooh. it down a little bit more. And now this is going to have Hunter these guessing a little bit more on when they hit. Great starting damage there from the Viper's no Bite. Oh, this oh, is the no. right click. Oh, he actually just left click. Didn't get the reset. GMD coming up. Woo! Triple kill right there. A quick hat trick as Ethan tries to come back and stave off the damage. Taking down the Seeker he Five needs. Planted. Temperature now is between a wall and a hard place, if you will. He needs his team to get here right now, and the Trailblazer will be a bit of a help to figure out what's going on around that middle pillar. Up shot from Nature. Can and he it's do it? all up to Hiko. Can he he do has it? Oh. the positioning, but he does not have the aim this time around. Temperature in the eyes of Gen G here, Vans. Already coming through that B archway, just the shots coming in from middle pin pillar. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Ethan does find one, but Gen G Five just down. fly onto the site. They use this time and time again where nature will dash in an updraft and everyone comes in using him as the sentry. This is going to be pivotal right now. I was going to say pivotal for Kusa to stay alive because there was going to be a double backside coming in. But in the end, it's all gone. Does he show? They see him. Tough. Armor. Versus three. Kusta has his work cut out for him here. He's trying to make his way out to at least make this 1v1 happen right away. A few shots. Does he get the ghost? He does not, but he does make it a 2v1. That's oh. going to be a 2 oh, Almost a 1v1. Boy finds Kusta. Orb control. Now that... Oh, Kusta just got spotted. Here's that dash in. Wow. Dash and roll with the dash. Oh, no way. Oh, another one. Almost gets it onto Sean. Sean's able to keep himself alive there with a bit of dancing back and forth. One shock dart comes in. Another one is going to make it. Good enough. Shock dart. Good from enough. Hiko. Asuna there with a the Spectre. Asuna pushing through with a guiding light. We'll take that one early for himself. Ooh, a quick jump peek there for a little bit of a fake in the peak by nature. For 100 Thieves, you're running close range with the Spectres. And here comes the backstabs. Ethan's going to have to break this trip if he goes through it. He's waiting so patiently as the rest of Gen.G get on site. Nicely done, taking control of everything with that gas wall coming in from Kusta. And it's going to be the backside plant. So they're looking to push all the way through here, Vans. Take control of Defender Spawn. It's flipped the sides of the map now. Yeah, they plan it even from Spawn side on the Defenders. So pretty decent spot for Gen.G. The Marshal in a tough spot. Their Sheriff might not be able to do too much damage, but they still have utility, right? You should, you should be able to get the regrowth maybe to help some people out if they need to uh, for Ethan. But I potentially think they might, they might wait for the guy to the light first before they want to try to do some damage. 
That's a big kill by Ethan. He can at least cause distraction if they take one more out from the bottom side here on the ground. It's going to matter. There it is. That's the one they needed. A quick close to the door. He just shuts it in his face. A 3v3, and they're just playing games. Cat and Mouse again. Oh, my God. Kusta, you're a god. I love it. Hiko, however, able to come up with the frags. It was not quick enough. And it is Fury. Look at that. Nitro. Instant IGL call. It hits. Hit the choke point. Anywhere around us, and they're giving 100 Thieves that respect. But moving up into Nest, this is going to be a huge play overall. Remember, and GMD starts it off with a frag towards B. And that's what you need here, right? You want it to play a slow default because you don't have the Toxic Screen to go fast. GMD's close by, so could at least put the smokes down as Brimmy and he gets a second kill. Whoa, nature. No reset there. Does get the frag, though, and will find a left. very nice weapon for himself. 4v2. Vandals for Boy and Asuna here as they start to kind of encroach into where they think nature and the rest of the team would be. Asuna knowing he's at least safe from where he came from, oh, and that's where he's going to play it. Just on the other side, Boy now in a 1v1 possibly with GMD, but they just cat and mouse each other, too, as he's trying to draw the fight. Poison's off. GMD not even biting on that van. So much poise. The, the Seeker is going to give so much right now, right? So GMD in a great position once again to do the backstab. The way that he lurks and cuts his rotations Absurd. is just beautiful. Absurd. It, it, boy just tried to draw that fight from him. And he said, <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, be, I'll deal with you in a few seconds. Just completely understanding the dynamic of the situation. Now Asuna getting pushed off with the orbital strike. Wants to find a kill before he gets back. Does find the one, but that's not going to be enough time for a defuse. And Gen G now continue to string out these rounds, making it so hard for 100 Thieves to get to that spike in time. Yeah. And Somebody come in now. Let's see if they decide to stick together as a full five and make it a spawn entrance. And the execution is slightly different, right, from not having a Sova. What Genji's is doing yep. is they're using that Molly towards ladder, and then they're having, the, uh, sorry, towards the back of the site, and then they try to flash into ladder and gain control in that sense. So uh, slightly different, still effective, at Oof. least at this point, because it's a retake play for 100 Thieves. It's their turn to do the damage. Oh, Asuna, the one, two. They go in with the Guiding Light, playing self, playing close. There was almost the death penalty for the rest of Gen G, but it's going to be Sean Akusa coming up big with temperature. They'll be able to circle and get around the rest of 100 Thieves and start to take them out. That was... It's very layered on their retake for 100 Thieves. They just didn't have the weaponry for it. Ethan pushing up, taking matters into his own hands on this gun round. It's going to be actually a bulldog for Kusta as well, so reaching into the pockets is Gen G a little bit. Gamon coming up huge as Sean grabs another one. 100 Thieves get thwarted on their mid push, and could it be Boy as well? He doesn't oh find my. the shots. And it's Sean, the one we knowing those angles for Gen G. It feels so comfortable for them to take fights early oh. round in mid. Oh, hello. Okay. Wow. It's a, they both took a Polaroid of each other before <laughs> taking that. Sh now, and it's red and red again. Viper's bike goes out, and a Seekers as well, to make sure they know GMD is down at that hallway. Ethan goes down, Nature finds him, and now they can start to encroach into the site. But slowly, GMD creeps farther and farther by the door now. This there is, is. shot, takes on Asuna, but Hiko answers with a Guardian. Another oh, shot to the head of Nature as he finally falls to Kusta. And now Nitro in the 2v1. Kusta good to say, oh, he already did all, I was going to say, and just nick Smart. this round for Nitro. So Kusta was going to plan, he's like, screw it, let's give you the spike. We're already in the, in the Viper's pit. Great this is call, safe. chambering <laughs> a shot. The, the thing is, on both ends, when you're looking at the situation, okay, is Nitro. what I like is that nobody's going to push out. No, they're not. You're absolutely right. Until he fires a shot. Get Very out true. Of my way. Marshall for temp. He's going to go down. Boy finds that. Molly. Beautiful shot Damn. onto him. And now, will we be sure. able to see any more in this hallway? Gwimon. Oh, my word. Coming up with a big frag there as Asuna gets another one. Checks towards the hallway. Wants an instant frag. That if he gets another one, that's when he kind of turns on. You just see him continue to dismiss and do another situational fight. And now he waits patiently, thinking this will be pushed. He is reading GMD right, but there is going to be a partner here. 19 the flash. seconds or so for these smokes to go Woo! away. And GMD with a beautiful sheriff shot to end out that little execution. A nice little way to, again, use the smokes. I mean, they're longer smokes for Burmy. This is why you're a Burmy fan at the same time. It allows Sean to move forward, but we are pushing forward He's ourselves it. for 100 Thieves. We'll take that back, they said. That's beautiful. So he opens up so much here, Van. Exactly.
GMD is doing so good. A frag onto one, picks up the Vandal, a frag onto left. another. GMD now calling some shots along with Kusta in these rounds and also making the frags happen. He's on the top of the list as well for the KD, not a usual place that you see him. So really, really coming online for his team this event. 2v2 as they make their way over to A, Vance. I'm surprised that Sean... He came in, but I, I didn't see a rifle that he was able One to pick up, and he's in only down. So you're going to need right now GMD right to get what? An ace to clutch. Can he do it? We built him up for the round. We may have cursed him on this. He does have two of his stim packs ready. One quick shot. Oh, he gets one. Let's, Let's go! go! GMD coming up with the ace, and he dropped. Baiting some fight. Baiting some traps, seeing if he could take uh, take one down quick. Imagine just shooting the trap from there. Temperature would be like, wait a minute, who's <laughs> who's behind me already? It's a pinch. Three, two, three from the mid. Is it going to work? Nature to drop nitro right away as Asuna plays the stairs near switch. Finds another one, but Hiko stays Ooh. up. That's the dink onto Sean. Sean still stays strong and finds that frag onto Asuna with the three v three now being inside the site. The Viper's wall is up there. And Kusta actually can't use it anymore, so they do not have that utility control over the site to create their own angles. Man, this is going to be tough. Low HP on the side of Gen exactly. G and Hiko, and rather 100 Thieves only have two members. Boy and Hiko, we've seen this before. Can they make it happen? Hiko dropping just to the right side. The Guardian needs to make it count, and Nature's faster for this time around. It's going to be another one. Boy's not going to be able to make it happen. His temperature comes up. Right and a half going on there for that retake. A nice attempt from Asuna, popping that Empress, getting a couple of kills. But that 3-2 split. Hundred move forward, they lose the blade storm immediately. Asuna wants to play it fast, wants to play it quick, but he can't do it. Sean takes it down. Five v three now. Genji slowly encroaching into the site. Now that the door is open, they have the freedom. And GMD once again is at the front door knocking. Will Hundred Thieves be able to retake this one? The judge makes it hard for Ethan. He's got to keep it up close and personal. He go to check the first corner. That's not going to be the guardian shot he wants. It's Kusta takes him down immediately. Ooh. Bams come through. Boy with one, but Kusta with the next. Back into the game. Let's We're looking it. for an aggressive split into this B side. The wall is up, but the first blood is going to be Asuna. <laughs> Pulls the pin and finds a frag. GMD goes down to start things off. The heal now for Kusta is a self-heal with that Sage. And obviously a dead to right spot. Asuna goes for the two and done. Ethan's going to find one more on that. And now it's going to be the take on the B as they start to pinch in. Hiko finds a good frag. But Genji is starting to encroach on the site with two. Very whittled down. It's going to be a tough hold. Nature takes down Hiko. And this evens things up. But almost not really. The HP is just so low. Oh my god. They swarm onto the site. You have like, what, one star left here for Boy to try to help out to retake the site. But Ethan potentially will have a flash soon as he trailblazes towards the back. But Gusta, okay. he's watching his flank. This is scary because you leave that out. I guess not. I thought they were going to try to pinch him in and get a Vandal for themselves. But there. Gusta's going to be able to stay alive and stay alone. As now it's going to be work downstairs into site. Nature here holding just on that top ramp side. Kusa has the rear. I'm going to have double flank protection here as well. And this is going to be a tough one for 100 Thieves. Yeah, at this point for Ethan, maybe it's just to look for some econ damage if he can. Successful with the first one. Hiko at that point will potentially save the rest. And you see, there you go. Ethan's running into that one. Try to do a bit more, and that's going to be it. So at least Jinji in a surprise waiting. Nature uh, straight up and down as he just does a rainbow rocket pack. And now it's going to be a few hits. The Guiding Light comes up huge. That was a great Five flash coming in from eight. Ethan as he went down One in the situation. And 100 Thieves wow. are starting to thwart everything. It was Ten no rotation left. needed there. And Sean was not able to come up with a... Nate. The Nitro was not seen there last time. Why not play the same spot? No collateral oh. through the head! Oh, straight through the neck. Rises up to the face. He's taken out three already. And now they continue. To push into B, they're just going to find Kusta here to take him. 100 Thieves retake. I can't believe that he still got that kill. He satchel charged into the site with his knife out, and Nature pulls it out, does a 180 for that kill. So you see at least a satchel movement, and look at that. This is what we want on this retake, pushing out the map position, but at least for 100 Thieves. That's a great pinch. They know everybody's on the left side due to that last utility used by 100 Thieves coming out of heaven. Not so much now that they've lost eyes on the site, but it's going to be the take. Boom. Asuna in, two, Boom. three, four. That's what they need. Oh no my more God. 100 thieves with the instant shock at their smoke in the beginning and that's the first shot rang are we going to pull back now for or for Genji sorry yeah. we're still going to try to go for it 
And you, like you said, Nitro continues to stay mobile, omnipresent Boom. with the op at the beginning of the match. We talked about his first bloods and he pulls up another one here in round seven as they start to trade back and forth at B Heaven. Mail room is a mess and the spike is there right now along with Kusta. Where did they decide to go? The res is still there. Exactly do okay. they wait? Do they res? They figure out where where Sean is making noise. And plan for a heaven right now because if temperature or Sean sorry is able to stay alive, he's gonna be the late flank and rotate on a heaven where it's planning for him perfectly. Do they have a cam to set up? It's not going to actually be there just yet. Still on B. Hasn't pulled it back, so they're just working off of what they see and what's in front of them. All three members, a hundred thieves staying in stride as they take it from the screen side. Nobody in sight, they're using action of Austin or Nitro rather into the site to make this work for themselves both are all scattered at every end of a site for the Gen G defense there's one coming in from Ooh. another one from Kusta he comes up huge with the battle sage and it's got to be the defuse for Nitro right out in the open after they peek him they do and that's gonna be the round for Gen G they stop the bleeding they take Three seconds left yeah not enough has happened there basically retaking everything here comes Nitro could be in the same exact spot again Ethan's making quick work two from Higo almost the third but he goes down in an almost one and done spot Genji make quick work of him and 4v2 now as the cosmic divide comes out a little bit of trickery with the audio play here nice flashes coming Huge. through Asuna with the quick jump classic a little bit of cheese folks to create the angle you want so run it through A Heaven is the, the exact thing they're gonna do here. Quick, wow, really? What a little snapshot by Ethan. But no, as I was going there, but this is huge. Dead. Hundred Thieves mid now. They can easily tell for the one way on that toxic smoke. Blast, Woo! no leer to follow, but it doesn't matter for nature. This time as Hiko goes down, he's in the back of the site, finds a frag, no Kusta on to Asuna there. And it looks like Ethan's up top, doesn't have a chance to get in, but will look to make an, a, a kind of information call on what that guiding light's gonna call out for the team. And he says, yep, backside for sure. Nobody's pushed up. And now they have two up top and Ethan on bot. How are they gonna retake on this one, Vans? It will yeah. be very tough. One more guiding light. Oh, he gets oh, all three! The transfer's disgusting! Nature now! They see the barrel of his weapon! He is not gonna be able to do enough and boy takes him down! <laughs> are you kidding me, Ethan? God. Just back and forth around this wall. It's gonna be two from Asuna! Straight in the face of Gen G. Kiko's able to take I another one down me. with the pack up there on Acousta. Sean now answering back. Do they have enough from the side of Gen G to continue oh, no. taking out the members? Nitro oh. gets caught looking at the elbow as Sean taken they down by of it. He's like, so if he can't try that if one. he can't place it right away, somebody's there. It will actually red out. I believe it will red out because if your teammates walk in front of you trying to place one, it doesn't do anything. He, he tried to fake it so he could throw a camera at least left. to spot somebody to allow Sean yeah. to get in, but now it, it's over. You, you have a countdown on, on the cooldown of your, your camera coming back, Last and boom. Cannon sticks through the Viper's pit, that's it. Boom! Nature waits. Of course he waits! Of beautiful, course you beautiful. do! He's gonna walk along here, a little walk along the beach with Boy as he put up right now for 100 Thieves. So you just Asuna, but you still have rotations being cut towards a ramp. So if they continue to do these 1v1s and 100 Thieves are able to win them, this is still a tough one. While their minds are working for this one. Almost! That's gonna be the classic for Ethan coming up. They have a chance to get a good defense on this. Asuna with just a deterrent onto the spike. Now they've used what they have. Everything has to be done with the classics here, Vans. It's going to be that 3v3 as they push in. Asuna goes down. Temperature very low as he keeps himself out in the open. They know one is heaven. They're calling for Ethan. Oh my gosh, Nitro. They're calling that that's Ethan. They're calling that he's low. But he gets the 3k at 20. Is it a 3-2? Is it the 4-1? 4-1 on either side. Pincering. So they can make it through the wall. Nature takes down Nitro to start. It is a very good start. If they can find where the Viper is, that's going to be huge. Hiko still keeping himself hidden. Now as Sean drops Asuna, it's going to be a full fury oh inside the Toxic Screen. 2v1. Almost the kills coming in. Genji is able to make it work. That's the eco round. Teammates right now. Nature's pushed up. Nitro may try to get through Ooh. the screen as they go down towards the site here. Nitro finds one. It's not going to be enough. They deliver this time through the gravity well gets pulled in. Kusta capitalizing another one. No, Nitro is able to stop him dead in his tracks there. Very nicely done by Boy. Right, so really nicely played for Gen G to separate that push. Yeah. Sorry, I also said Boy. I meant GMD. Yeah. My mistake there is Sean making no mistakes to drop down Nitro. GMD looking, or Genji looking very good right here. Hiko kind of lost in the sauce, and Nature is <laughs> going to be able to pick up. Gone all the way on the other side. That spike's going to be planted. Now that turns the movement as exactly. Genji start to flip the map.
You didn't know, right? The the cosmic divide right. came out. It could have been a fake because we had control towards mid side. We gave it up for Genji. Now this is a late rotate, so you're gonna have to start seeing Genji moving a lot faster. But they don't have the sky flashes to help. So Sean's gonna have to come up huge with his two leers. About 30 seconds left going into this one on that spike. It's gonna be real hard to res here for Genji. So they got whatever is in front of him. Nitro starts it off on a Sean. Ethan with another as temperature drops too. The new member of the team coming up strong, coming up poised, but he can't do it against Hiko and boy, that's gonna be- And then on their execute, that's the above Nade. I, Nature did that on Breeze as well. In the face yeah. of utility, it does not bother him. He'll still- And looking to actually get a Seeker to match. GMD pushing up? He wants to get away from the Seeker, hopefully wasn't uh, sought out at first. As Hiko does have all, they get into here, it's going to be very tough for 100 Thieves to make this, or for, sorry, for Gen G to make it happen. Kuzda well, with the res, is he going to be able to get into B main and find this? They have to use that res before this round ends, oh, do they though? He turns, oh my god, they're able to get the last two playing with fire right tying this one up. 100 Thieves still on match point though, that pressure is there. There was that, Sean, uh, Delir, so that we already expended one, you already expended the wall, and you uh, you still have your two slow orbs though, so this is yep. actually pretty good. On the other end though, Boy put two stars in the end, maybe, maybe even three, and you're splitting out that defense. Great peak. They're working together too. They're moving up as a team, making sure they can get a trade off of any of these frags. Ethan with a little solo work here, Mission Impossible for Mr. Hunt inside the A site. And he just gets himself almost to safety. The rest of the team puts it out. Genji Sean doing a great job at separating that attack squad inside of A to get behind now and see if he can retake with the rest of his squad. 2v2. And he's got spikes. These have seekers if they get in the next round. But Sean now Ten trying seconds. to work it. You're going to need about three, seven, five. The Huge. Plan. Do they get it in? He's got more than enough time, but he's in a very, very tight corner. Around, fly, and comes the team. Is oh, no! No way! Oh. A shot in the dark right now. Who's going to be able to hit one of these through the wall to start off? Waiting for the gas to come back up. You're going to have 15 seconds per wall once it Huge. does. As nature starts off on the boy, that's a big share. Exactly. Double push towards the A side to kill. You know this hit's coming towards the B side right now. So you force the hand for 100 Thieves. You go for a plant. Look at that. Same wall, but you're planting inside the site right now at the wall side. Absolutely. What a hit from Kusta again. Sean coming up big. Gen GC by wow. full control of the retake. 100 Thieves. A bit worse for wear on this one as Hiko is able to find Ooh, this A site. Oh my word! Hi. Clean up! Oh, too many, too much swing, too much left and right. Nature says don't. Here. Spike is waiting. That's in the hands of Boy right now. Oh, they're walling for upper. One they're more. Fighting for upper. Yeah, one more frag here and Hiko gets the ultimate for Hunters. That's not going to be the spike. They're where they want it. It's in Nest. Nitro comes up huge though with two quick frags at different elevations. The they're able to get the spike, get that plant down. Hiko grabs the orb just before Hunter's Fury is online. As we've seen it so often between these two, Nitro doing such a good job of keeping himself in an unknown position. Waiting, gets the first frag. Now for the second, Hiko picks that up. Hunter's Fury, so they know that Gen G is searching. And it is going to be Boy's World here as they put down the Viper's Pit. Kusta drops Asuna. Whole lot of firefighting right now as everybody just kind of taking a breath before making their way in on the execution. Boy has to stay there, and they know he's dipping in and out of the far side of the ultimate. Everything happening just on the outskirts, oh, and Ethan's there to come up with big frags. Once again, you see that name on the kill board. Nico with one. Will he find the second one? Toasting up temperature. And it is not going to be that one. Temp getting the health back. The vulnerability wears off, but it's not going to be enough time now. Gives himself away with a shot of the Phantom, and they know he's at least yellow yeah. in encroaching to that position. Hiko gets out alive here. Does Boy make the exit down mid? He does. There's a frag for Hiko. Temperature goes... I feel like having Sage res up on these sides is just making everybody go wild this round. They're like, <laughs> Agreed. okay, res me. Oh my word, right out of the gate. Straight up to Boiler. Ethan gets himself on a single wall. 100 Thieves trying to find a little bit of ground today. I like it. At least give this spike plan down to Hiko uh, to continue to build this uh, Hunter's Fury. Boy actually pushes it smart. Boy? He's at one HP. He's able to get two kills. It's a 3v2. And now he gets pinged out though. Oh, he's keeping it. He's keeping it on to do a little delay ping there. He's like, man, I'll move a little bit and hopefully it wears off by then. <laughs> Unfortunately, he gets taken down. Hiko now. Fires a dart out, doesn't have enough time to take out two at the angle. All right, so a little bit of rope play. They can hear that on the other side. Boy, doing such good work playing as this Viper playing. We'll see this. Is smoke. 
But dash away, Sean still Fight finds the target he needs, but Austin is able to trade back very quick there to make it 3v3. 410 is where Austin makes his home, and he's going to take it away from GMD. Boy, now he's been playing so well. Here's one under him, makes the quick shot, wants to find ahead of his opponent. Always a tough one through the rails, but he is able to stave off that defensive rotation from nature. What great play here by Boy. We're finally seeing him now take kind of situations into his own, make these happen, maybe not come out with an icing on the... Oh, just in between everybody that time. Austin is getting GMD in the chaos of Hunter's Fury. And this is going to be the Viper's pick going down here. A, a round of chaos, but really, 100 Thieves just inching themselves in, foot in the door every so often without really finding too much resistance. And this is what we've seen. They don't really have to fight anybody too much to get in. This is where the operator of nature has to stop them in their tracks. Just can't this time. Nitro comes up on the nature as I say that. And it's going to be the 3v5 retake. Everything's against Gen.G on this one. Can they at least get a few frags? Sean does grab one. Ethan stuck up there in Ness, so he doesn't have the You're angle. Saving. But temperature, yeah. just with Boy behind him, is kind of calling that somebody's close. But this round's all said and done. Really temperature really will fall down to Ethan as they try to get an exit on this one. And Sean still going through that mindset is great to see for the team. And he got to call that for his way. team. So they know right. this position from GMD and are able to, to press that quite quickly. They throw a smoke on it this time, so it's going to be a little bit harder to work. It might actually give Ethan a way to work through as temperature and Sean go down. See, see what I mean? GMD falls it. again. It's difficult to make that work, and they're going to be looking for him there. As you said, I mean, Asuna made, he flies high, zip lines across, and the team's going to be planting here. A little damage there on the first shock dart with a Viper's Bite, but er, this is going to be it. It's the retake now for 100 Thieves to come back in in a 5v5. That's the thing that starts things off there with a nice little throw from the Viper's Cloud. Yeah. Oh, back and forth trade. Sean for two, but he goes down along with, come on. 100 Thieves now. Austin, a bounce oh around on 410. He loves it, and now it's a 3v1. Temperature's trying to find out if the Sonar and Shock Darts are going to be enough to win the round. One Shock Dart left, but he's not going to have enough time. It is diffused. He finds the face of Ethan, and another on Nature. They have such a strong force to start these first bloods. And there we see it again in a much needed round here. Round 15, but 11 to 3 is that score. And Ethan's going to make it that much tougher along with Boy on the BD. Wall up. I'm going to creep over here and dash to get myself a weapon. Oh, no. oh, no. They don't know, but they do, but they don't. And he dashes through or just jumps through. I should say Sean takes him out. What an awkward position to be in, honestly, One for Nitro. Boy also falls in a... That. This is going to yeah. be very difficult for the Clutch Master, Hiko, to try to get this on this very map where he had a very nice clutch uh, to even... Even win the map against Gambit, but another 3v1, can he do it this time? Not going to be the case. Home through A, uh -oh. the rest of the team, 4 through mid, as they are going to see that Genji's making this move. Ethan tries to thwart it. 1, 2, 3, 4! Almost instantly, they shut the door on Genji on this A take, and now Temperature is left to gauge the rest of the map by himself versus five members of 100 Thieves who are just ready to pick his pocket vans. Oh, there it is. No. Rounds happen so damn fast. Yep. You know, one owl oh, no. sees a bunch. Option 40 seconds left. They're going to stay in the mix. Into B. Viper walls are the only thing creating the new angles here. A lot of the utilities already been used as teams both start to encroach on oh, it. Oh, no. a quick shot. Nitro just sticks the barrel into the mouth of Sean to take him down. He's going to go for a defuse. Trying to pull all of Gen.G out of the woodwork here. They're trying to spam. They're trying to peek the Vandal through the smoke. Gives the Ooh. tracers. That finds the frag for 100 Thieves. And that's going to be the defuse. That's going to be...